I think me and Blue want to, we want to leave each other alone. We really do. It just never will happen. I can't give him what he want. You can't give me what we want. So we just have that, that toxic ass. That toxic ass. I ain't never leave it. I'm fertile. I just had a baby. I know, but y'all just And he had, it. You just had So it's like. He what? Yeah, it's talking about this is my pussy. I, Being honest, but Jason Lee. Y'all, why is Krishan out here bragging about how she tricked Jaden and got to hook up with Blueface? Krishan has been playing Bessie with Jaden for a couple of days now, and it looks like she has just been trying to get to Blueface. Now, Jaden is understandably feeling betrayed over all this, and she has called war on Krishan for trying to betray her like that. And y'all won't believe the heavy threats that she is sending at Krishan. Krishan better watch her back because Jaden is not here to play. Y'all, so Krishan just pulled a fast one on Jaden after she went out of her way to convince Jaden to be friends. Now these two women have been enemies for years now, so it was kinda shocking to see them hanging out and goofing about together. We bought into this ex because it was kinda good to see them hanging together, you know, power to the baby mamas, instead of causing drama on social media. But as it turns out, Krishan was only using Jaden to get back at Blueface because the second Jaden's back was turned, Krishan hooked up with him. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda wild that Krishan even wants Blueface back, considering how mean and hurtful he has been to her when they started dating. He has always been this way to her, but it got worse after she got pregnant with their son Krishan Jr. The moment Krishan announced her pregnancy, he went into overdrive and tried to convince everyone that he was not the father. He tweeted, to answer y'all's question, yes me and Rock are officially done. It's strictly business. I tried it and it clearly wasn't given before she announced. She's pregnant with somebody else child, not mine. Rock has had encounters with 10 different men in the last year. Until I see a DNA test, then it's not mine. He then insisted on getting a DNA test and the baby turned out to be his, which wasn't all that shocking. It says the alleged father is not excluded as the biological father of the fetus. And that mean you're the father? Babe, that's mean you're the father. Uh, oh, it's not excluded. You're the father? He also went out of his way to make her pregnancy extremely hard. So every time she talked about how much she enjoyed being pregnant, he tried to be a party pooper and ruined it for her. For example, she made a sweet little post about being pregnant on Instagram saying, When I seen the face of what was growing inside of me, I had to pray the fear away of being a mommy. I instantly fell in love when I saw the face of her, the heartbeat. The bad thoughts like, I don't want to be rock anymore. I don't want to be famous. I effed up. I should have stayed in school. But I had to separate my heartbreak from the biggest thing that I prayed for in the beginning. Blueface then tried to clown her for loving on her baby and he tweeted, I'm gonna be a cheater forever. I'm not even gonna hide it for real. Getting rid of it will give you a chance to be your own person. A baby will make us stuck. You don't wanna be stuck with somebody like me, considering the way that I already feel about you. He started to put pressure on her to get rid of the baby, insisting that he had no intention to pay a cent in child support. He said, whoever the judge is on my child support case, I told his girl Girl, I don't want the baby. She still got time to get rid of it and she forced it on me. So you better make the price right. She trying to trap me. He continued to put pressure on her to get rid of the pregnancy, even offering her $100,000. Jaden also put pressure on her and she even tweeted, give me the 100K daddy, I'll do the procedure myself. Jaden also went on and on about how she had a great pregnancy experience because Blueface treated her well when she was pregnant. She said, things were sweet when I was pregnant though. Y'all internet people should be ashamed of y'all Themselves, honestly. When Krishan refused to get rid of the pregnancy, Jaden went on an interview where she said she didn't care about the baby and had asked Blueface to keep his situation with Krishan separate because she didn't want to be involved with the baby. I ain't even thought about it, uh, but I'm probably more than certain he'll probably keep his two situations separate, separate. just for the better. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, I mean, cross that bridge when you get there type. type. I mean, yeah, like, I'm not like. Now, before y'all start talking about how Jaden was being mean, Krishan was also treating Jaden badly when she was pregnant with their daughter, Journey. So, Jaden was just sending a little bit of karma back to Krishan. Well, Krishan eventually broke up with Blueface, claiming that he threatened to beat her up and kick her in the stomach so hard that she would bleed for weeks. Now, after she gave birth, Blueface did an about face, full 180, and went from saying that he wasn't going to be involved with the baby to threatening to take the baby away because Krishan. 
Sean went to the gym. He said, if she don't take my son serious, make that her main focus and priority for at least 30 days, I will file for custody. You've been warned. 24 hours later, literally, I can't believe y'all thought a kid would change anything. In the first 48 hours, the baby has been held and touched by 20 different people. My kid not finna be hurt and touched on like everybody in her family. He also said, I'm gonna put pressure on her to tighten up. She's under a microscope now, so she needs to take my son serious. I have no intentions of taking him from her, but if she don't get a grip and focus on our son instead of clout, I will have to do what is best for the baby. I don't care about Rock, I care about the baby. Now Jaden also clowned Chris Sean for almost getting her baby taken away, saying, never once has my baby daddy ever said he would try to take my kids. Why? Because he never thought I was unable to be sane to raise them. So what does that say about this dumb broad? And I recall when I was in the hospital with Journey, I told him since it might be a day or two before she comes because I was induced medically due to health, that if he wanted to go home and chill and not update him, he could. But he didn't, and I appreciate him holding my leg. Thanks, baby daddy. It was a great birth. But then Blueface made up with Krishan and Jaden put him on blast because she felt betrayed, and she said, you weirdo, I'm the only one who ever had your back. I held you down. Man, y'all see this? Narcissist and manipulative. Tried to forgive, but never forgot. He never did right by me, and I'm overdue for happiness and love. I gave you every piece I ever had, and you could have had my last bite. It's okay. <laughs> I get it. You can't man up. I understand. I wish none but the best, and please let me go. But it wasn't long before Blueface and Krishan fell out again after he posted their son's privates on social media and called her a bad mom for not treating his hernia. He said, I tried to do the right thing to keep it private, but this girl keep going on and on. Leave me alone, you crack baby. She is a bad mother. Yes, she is unfit. She been pushing the surgery back, missing the appointment so she can do what she wants. I went to Baltimore thinking it's surgery, but they talking about she missed the appointment. My son got a C and she on here popping it. So you know what I'ma do every time. Checkmate. Krishan then clapped back at him saying, crazy, I didn't even know you posted our son's D on social media. Oh, this man knows how to hurt me, bro. I got nothing else to say. Blue, this ain't your kid no more. Blue, I got nothing but love for this tragic situation. Devastated. It's okay, Krishan Jr. I will get through this ish and come out untouched or broken in the end. Who posts their son's D for a club? Yo, this hurts so bad. So you happy to post our son's P? Like, bro, is this legal? As a mother, do I call this in? He then went right back to Jaden and she was more than happy to take her man back. He then proposed to her a couple of weeks later and Krishan absolutely lost it. Next thing we knew, Krishan started acting out and she claimed that she was pregnant again by Blueface. Plans to have more kids? Do you want more kids in the future? Uh, I always knew I wanted to be a mom. I always knew I wanted to have two kids. So one day, one on the way, and how was the last 10 to go? She also went on Jason Lee's podcast and revealed that she and Blueface had been sleeping together and she was indeed pregnant again. We think you're pregnant, like for real. I'm fertile. I just had a baby. I know, but y'all just and he had, nutted. You just had. So it was like. He what? Yeah, it's talking about this is my pussy. I'm being honest, I what? Jason Lee. But she didn't stop there because she went on to claim that she was still sleeping with Blueface after the proposal. Me and Blue, want to, we want to leave each other alone. We really do. It just never will happen. I can't give him what he want. He can't give me what we want. So we just have that, that toxic ass sex. That toxic ass, nigga, I ain't never leaving. <laughs> However, Blueface wasn't having it, and she accused her of lying because she was jealous that he was going to wife Jaden and not her. He tweeted, if that's true, post the messages. B, get online and lie all day to try and make my wife mad. We over here laughing, finna eat dinner. He also posted screenshots of a text from Krishan where she was throwing herself at him, saying, I don't give your pee up, bro. I just be trying to see if dude's genuinely there. You are an a-hole, so me acting like you. I be open to giving people attention because I 
oh, you know, loyalty for real. But to be clear, I'm not giving P away. My itch got way too much sauce in my head somewhere. I'm actually waiting for you. Krishan then tried to save face by claiming that she was leaving him forever, saying, telling him no today was a step. But how do you get rid of a soul tie? I really had to take a step back because still giving a part of me to him is stepped up to my son. How I let a man that don't want to be a father to my only son still in in me. Man, then this man texted me today and I almost fell for that itch. Like, what the F am I doing for real? She continued. I'm looking at my son like, hold up. Cut the immature selfish itch out. <sighs> Y'all, I'm disappointed with myself right now. Hey, Blue, go F yourself. Stop hitting me, bruh. Go find another beat of cream on you. Plus, homie, that itch is unsafe and unsanitary. You gonna F around and get an HIV the way you move. But hey, this is Creshawn we're talking about and she ended up fixing things with Blueface. And they even spent Thanksgiving together. But then things happened all of a sudden and they left really fast. Blueface went live to show that he had gone to Krishan's house to pick up the baby. And he made it seem like she had left the baby alone at 4 a.m. Son ain't got no parent at 4 in the morning. Nobody wanna watch him. She got Marsh. Oh she got Marsh watching the baby at 4 in the morning so she could what? Get some dick. Do a verse. Let me get in here, bro. All this so you could do a verse, suck some. You a both bitch. But that's not the story at all because she had her friend Marsh babysitting. Well, Marsh turned out to be a great babysitter because she never left the baby and she even got in the car with Blueface. Blueface didn't like this at all and he threatened to have Jaden beat her up and even threatened to put his hands on her and knock her out. Stopping us because she want to be a, a, a bad that's parent to a bad you, parent. Bro. She wanna be okay, a yes. Close yeah, close the door. Let's go, Marsh. You gonna get your ass whipped soon as we get there. Come on.